Welcome my dear student in my virtual class. Uh, today we learn about the standard for subject science. Uh, chapter 8, uh, the moon faces. The topic is moon faces. First of all, yeah, science class, uh, chapter 8, uh, the universe. Then, uh, we learn from that how the moon uh, bigger than the smaller and smaller than bigger means that it changes the shape of the moon. Then, uh, the moon is the object of space that revolves around the earth. It is a huge circular object made of rocks. This means that if you look at the sky, we see the moon and we also see some black spot in the moon. It's not a black spot, it's an object, there's types of objects like rocks, uh, the ash, gas, everything, see anything else. Then. The moon has no light of its own. We see the moon only when the sunlight falls on the moon. It means that the moon, uh, the satellite, only satellite of the earth, it has no own light. And, but we see the moon is bright because the light of the sunlight when it falls on the moon, uh, at that time we just see the moon but before we don't see that moon because moon has no its own light then we use the technology to see the moon in the sky this technology is telescope we observe the moon by the telescope then we see the moon in the sky in different forms it means that in the picture, uh, we can understand from this picture, it is here, uh, the moon is very small. And the next picture, we see the moon is a little bit. Then, the moon is bigger than the first picture. And then the next, the moon is more bigger than the first picture. Then, and if we observe the moon every night, we will see that the moon is different in size for the previous night it means that i uh, you, you mean that you imagine that in saturday night we look at the sky we see that little moon a picture of little moon but after two days or uh, three days uh, if we look at the sky we see that the moon is bigger some uh, like that it means that moon uh, changes shape okay okay my dear student uh, the moon uh, sometimes looks big and round and sometimes it looks small and semi-circular this means that in the picture we can easily understand the second picture with that is more is very round and full but the first picture has some dark and some light part it means that semi-circular not a full moon then uh, changing the shapes of bright parts of the moon is the state of the moon there are eight faces of the moon it's meant that since the shape of a bright part not the dark part bright part of the moon is the state of the moon it means that uh, the moon changes first uh, night by night day by day and the change of this moon is called the moon's faces there are eight faces of the moon how many faces we get we get eight faces of the moon here we get the uh, picture also and then let's see a video then we can understand easily Faces of the moon. Look, my dear student, uh, this picture of a moon at the waxing crescent. It's also a face of the moon. Then, yes, the another first crater of the moon. It's a shape, changing shape of the moon. And then the another shape of the moon what it gives us yes you can look very carefully the change of the shape of the moon 
Now we see the full moon. Yes, now we see the full moon. See another waxing gives the another change the full moon, then the bright part diminish slightly. The another picture third quarter is bright and the dark part in the moon. The another picture when Christian in the same state again. The new is very new moon. It's a change, change of the moon. Yes, yeah, now a total change of the moon. We know. Okay, my dear student. Okay, my dear student. And then we go to the next. Yes. What do we learn uh, from uh, this lesson? Now we want to evaluation the what? What is the moon? And the second question, what is the state of the moon? Uh, third question, how many faces or faces of the moon are there? The four, how long after the moon returns to its form state? Yes, thank you my dear student, till then, see you again.